At our next guest is a sophomore who is going to ultra great lengths in her pursuit of her passion. Shay Aquilano, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Shay, give us your Notre Dame introduction. Yeah, so hi, my name is Shay Aquilano. I'm a sophomore neuroscience and behavior major with a double minor in digital marketing and sustainability living in Kavanaugh Hall. And I'm originally from Carmel, Indiana. Wow, fabulous, no small feat. You have a hobby, uh, if we can call it that, which involves an incredible amount of endurance. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, I like to run far. More specifically, I run ultra marathons, which are any distance greater than a marathon or 26.2 miles. So many are on trails compared to the road and typical races can span from 50K to 100 miles and beyond. 100 miles. Can, I can't even comprehend that. When did you start competing in ultra marathons and, and why, Shay? So I raced my first ultra the summer after my freshman year at Notre Dame. Um, I actually ran a 50K before I ran a marathon. Um, as for why, uh, that's a tough question because I never ran track or cross country in high school. I played soccer, actually. But the concept of ultra running always drew me in because it's so different from road running. Um, you're running maybe through forests or mountains and you get to experience the world by means of your own two feet. And it really connects with my passion for environmental sustainability. So my first ultra I ran raised for the National Resource Defense Council. But running ultras is really like life compressed into a day. You could be running all day and maybe all night. And in those hours, you experience the widest range of highs and lows where you can go from feeling like quitting to cresting the top of the climb and running down the other side with a renewed vigor. So it's really empowering and it's taught me grit and perseverance and resiliency and gratitude. And you find out what you're made of and you know you can dig that deep into yourself again and not only survive, but come out on the other side stronger with a smile. Wow, girl, I think you are just fantastic. Talk to us about the preparation and the kind of training that you have to do for something like this, mental and physical. Yes, yeah, so this is the fun part. So you really have to enjoy the process if you're going to succeed. So I do like to think of it as training your legs, training your stomach, and training your mind. So I'll typically run six to seven days per week during the school week. I'll slot in runs between classes or in the evening. But on weekends, I have a little bit more time. So I'll go for long runs, sometimes back-to-back -back long runs, sometimes 20 miles or 50K or more, depending on the time in my training block. But another component of ultras is eating. So in longer races, you have to continuously eat and take salt during races mm -hmm. because you'll be out there moving on the trails potentially for a whole day. So I have to train my stomach to tolerate and keep taking in food. So sometimes it sounds weird, but I'll eat mashed potatoes or peanut butter and jellies while I run. <laughs> um, nice. As for the mental component, <laughs> it really is a mental sport. So it's as much as a physical and mental sport. So running, it's kind of like meditation in motion. So you have to train yourself to be able to overcome whatever the day throws at you. Because in ultra running, anything can and will happen. And if you don't have the tools to embrace what comes your way at mile 50 you may not make it wow so is there a connection between what you're doing as a runner and uh and your major yeah i think there's every connection you really get out what you put in and personally i think the biggest barrier is the mind um so as a neuroscience and behavior major i've come to realize just how powerful and complex the mind really is and it's pretty incredible what the body is actually capable of if your mind wills it to Shay, so I tell you something, undoubtedly. amazing stuff. You know what, Go, I, I, I think when you write the book, I'll be the first <laughs> one in line to buy it, Shay. I think you're just absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on Notre Dame.